Hello and good tag to both on a Star again. Today I'm taking out my F6 F Hellcat and I really have to admit I really really love this plane. But I did not love this plane in the first place when it came out because the flight model was not fully done uh, back then. But in one of the 1.3 patches they fixed the flight model to um, yeah, the now flight model and uh, it's nearer to the realistic flight model of this plane and now I really love this plane. It's fast, it's agile for its battle ranking and especially the armament down there is pretty accurate. With 650 caliber machine guns you can do a lot of damage to the enemy and even with the API ammunition you can set things on fire really quick. When I first flew this plane it was not that fast, not that agile and I kind of gave it up and then I started to fly the Germans a little bit more and encounter one of these planes here after the patch. And suddenly I realized it was pretty fast, it was damn agile and it shot me down. And I was thinking, well, let's give it a go and try it out. Maybe this plane is better now than it was back then. And suddenly I was very surprised and since then I really loved this plane. But now to the gameplay. As you can see I did not record this one, but it turned out to be a very good match. We had the Spitfires here and some F6-Fs too. The enemy had their bf 109s and especially a, a whole bunch of FV-190s, the Focke Wolf, A1 variant. And we did pretty damn good against these, in my opinion, superior planes for this battle ranking, especially the Focke Wolf. In my first pass I damaged the bf 109 f pretty good. I think I may hit his engine or its oil tank. Nevertheless, um, I think in the later game this guy would get a problems and he already loses some uh, power from its engine and he loses all of its benefits from the B109 plane and advantages over the Spitfires. So I left him down to the Spitfires because he already had two on its tail and they did the job. I then spotted another plane, I think it was a FV-190, an A1 variant of the Focke Wolf. He had picked up some speed. And I was going to pick up some speed some more, so I did catch up to him and he then did a big mistake, he turned into one of our Spitfires and I had a good shot at him. At high speeds the Focke Wolves are pretty damn agile too, but they are no match to the F6F Hellcat. But a big benefit of the Focke Wolves are that they can take a lot of damage. Um, even from the 50 cals and they are not easy to set on fire like the Japanese planes for example. So I had to really pursue him and get some good shots in him, especially deflection shots. So I damaged his controls or its wings, but it's not that easy. You may think that I'm not hitting here, but I have hit him all the time, especially in the turn fights. And up here he did a big mistake, he got really slow and the Hellcat is pretty agile when it's um, slow. And here I got some good hits in it. But as you can see, the Focke Wolf is pretty tough. Nevertheless, I think this guy was damaged so bad by its engine and its wings. I think he crashed in the later game, but let's focus on the game here. It's always a big difference if you fight uh, German planes or Japanese planes. You always have to adapt yourself to a special nation. For example, the Jap Japanese you have a speed advantage over the Japanese and at higher speeds you have even the agility advantage over the Japanese planes. And they are really easy to set on fire and they have no armor at all. They are easy to kill. They are the best enemies for this plane or for the American um, carrier based planes. Here um, against the Germans they always have the speed advantage, especially the Focke Wolf A1 or the A variant. Down low they will outrun you and even up high they will outrun you too, but they are not that agile. So if they choose to take on the fight, you always have to turn fight them and lure them into a turn fight. If they are trying to run away, they will probably be able to, if you cannot catch them or catch them in a, in a deflection shot and be able to set them on fire or damage them so bad that they can't outrun you anymore. Here I was finally able to set a Focke Wolf on fire and kill him. And the second one passed nearby and nearly got me. I was really lucky there. Um, 
I'd like to choose to do a turn fight and to barrel roll with me and do some uh, nice scissors. But of course, this plane is more agile than a Focke Wolf and he realizes this uh, mistake very soon. He tries to get away. But eventually he decides no, I want to stay in, I want to turn fight. And so I have my chance to um, take some good shots inside these uh, inside the turn radius and fire some good shots at his um, upside of the plane, set him on fire and kill him the pilot. So that was my uh, second kill in this game and some more will add up, as you can see later. At this time I realized I had shot out nearly all of my ammunition. I was shooting a lot inside the turn fights with the Focke Wolves and especially if the first Focke Wolf was pretty tough and I shot nearly half my ammunition inside this plane. So. I thought, okay, I'm near my second, I guess it's a, yeah, it's a second base, I was near my second base, so I decided to have a go and rearm and reload, and especially repair some minimal damages, and that's what I did here. When we were down on the airfield, a message popped up that the first Focke Wolf, we damaged very badly, um, was crashed. And we got the kill. So, it's always good to remember to not lose all your advantage, your energy advantage, or your speed advantage over your enemies, to pursue an enemy that it's already done. So, sometimes it's better to let him go, when you're kind of sure that he will not make it back to its base to repair. At this point I realized that only two enemy players are left and I saw two little dots to the northeast on the map near to their second home base. They were pretty damn low and kind of slow. I realized that. So I took my advantage, um, stayed at my height, picked up some speed uh, on, on an even flight and then boom and zoomed in and this plane is pretty good in boom and zooming and even in turn fighting the first enemy was of course uh, yeah i think it was a ground attacker so that's why he stayed pretty low and i had not so much trouble with him i fired a few good shots to its left wing and set the engine or the fuel tank on fire and i thought hmm, maybe that's enough Let's get back my energy advantage by zoom climbing and eventually have a second go. But he got down. He went down and uh, I got the kill. It was pretty easy. Both of this plane tend to be or turned out to be a sitting duck. They were very low, not that slow. The last one is a BF 110 2. And these 110s are not that agile. But they are pretty damn fast, so even a Hellcat has some problems by catching him up. And that's what I did here. I picked up some speed, around about 580 to 600 kilometers an hour, and slowly catching up. And his only goal, I think, was to damage or kill or second, no, the third ground point. And I was trying to catch him before he can do that, but he was really focusing on doing that, speeding up. And yeah, that's what he did. I catched up to this guy when he was damaging our last point. He wasn't able to fully take it down, and I think it was a new player, so he could not really see or uh, think about how much um, this point will take to um, get taken down. And he tried to turn fight me here, so that's why I came up with the theory. If I was in this BF 110, I would have done an, uh, or tried to do a head-on with me, because the armament of the 110 is uh, fixed in the nose. It has two 20 millimeters and four machine guns, and with this focus fire, it maybe had a chance in a head-on against the Hellcat, and eventually had taken me out. And here I thought, okay, let's avoid this tail gunner, pick up some speed some more bring out the flaps and stay low behind him so that his telegunner could not harm me and then it was a piece of cake 
despite the fact that this 1010 can take a lot of damage, um, it still wasn't enough to uh, mess with my whole magazine of 50 kills. Um, I took him down, got the kill, won the match, and in this match I had pretty much fun turning with the Focker Bulls and fighting 109s and 110s. It was pretty versatile, and yeah, I hope you had fun too. Do your best on the battlefield, and I'll see you next time. So, have a nice day. Bye!